This experiment is called foam explosion. You will need glass or plastic bottle, liquid dish soap, food coloring, half a cup of 3% hydrogen peroxide, a baking dish or a baking sheet, a small plastic Ziploc bag, one teaspoon of dry yeast, and two tablespoons of cool water, and a funnel. Start off by adding a squirt of dish soap. And a squirt of food coloring. So let's see, half a cup of hydrogen peroxide. This is 3% hydrogen peroxide. You can experiment with 6%. But we're just using 3% for this video. Whoa! Okay, so it bubbles up. And it turned green! Because we added food color to it. Wow. <laughs> Add the yeast and water to the bag. One teaspoon of dry yeast. Adding it to the bag. Okay, two tablespoons of water. Remember, it's cool water. And we've already measured it out. So I'm shaking the mixture to mix it. Use a funnel to pour the yeast mixture into the peroxide mixture. Do this step quickly because the reaction happens immediately. Be careful. Okay. Watch Whoa, out. Look, it's bubbling up. Oh my God. Okay, that is really cool. Let's see what happens. Whoa. It's okay. like toothpaste coming out of the tube. <laughs> that's <right. laughs> oh my what? god, that's so cool. It looks so cool. It's like nice and thick. Wow, this is amazing. <laughs> uh, I, I just And this is safe it. to touch because it's just colored dish soap. <laughs> Why does this work? Hydrogen peroxide naturally breaks down into water and oxygen gas. In this experiment, the yeast mixture acts as a catalyst, making this natural reaction happen more quickly. The oxygen gas bubbles out of the bottle so quickly it takes the soapy water with it, making it spill everywhere. Most of the time, hydrogen peroxide comes in a brown plastic bottle to protect it from light exposure, which makes it break down quickly but not as quickly or as explosively as yeast does. If you like this video, please like, share, and subscribe.